Hi everyone, so today I'm coming back with a new video and I've been away for such a long time but it's just because I've been working so much, doing six day weeks, it's just so busy. But now it's calmed down a little bit so I'm going to come back and try and make more regular videos for you every Monday and every Friday. So for today's video I'm going to be filming my 14 beauty must have essentials. Um, 14 is a bit of a weird number but I just thought... I don't know, I just thought that that would be a good one and I really couldn't narrow it down anymore so this really is as low as I could first get it. First of all, I'm going to go ahead with the skincare. Okay, so this first thing, these are in no order, they're just, I love them all as much as each other, but this first thing is the newest one of them all and I've literally only just tried the sample, I've only tried this for about a week and a half but already I can tell I'm going to buy this again and again and again. So, it's the Elemis Fresh Skin Moisturiser, the Softly Softly Daily Moisturiser. So cute. I've probably I've used this now for yeah about a week and a half but I just really really love it and the only thing I don't like is the smell it makes me feel sick but I thought I can get around it because I remember with the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair Serum I hated that smell to begin with absolutely could not stand it but then I you know grew to like it and as I see what it did for my skin I thought well <laughs> I should put up with it and this it does what it says like it makes your skin more radiant more glowy and just fresh sort of as the word says on the packaging so I really really love this and also it's not even that expensive it's £20 for moisturiser which you might think is a bit more but compared to other high end sort of um, brands and other ones in the regular range of LMS um, you know Dermalogica all those are way more expensive than this so yeah I'm really really happy that I tried it these are still out I think on the Cosmopolitan magazines um, so I would recommend trying it it's just amazing Next product is a makeup remover and it is Dermalogica's Pre-Cleanse. Now this is the professional size because I work as a beauty therapist. Where I work, because we are a stock of Dermalogica, we're allowed to order the sort of professional sizes. So you get a lot more product than what would normally sort of be sold because um, these are the ones we use in the treatment room. Pre-Cleanse is just amazing. It's a oil makeup remover so you put it all over the face and then you put a little bit of water over it and it just sort of, you know if you mix oil and water, it sort of grabs the molecules and it all goes sort of, you can see it on your face and then you wash it and you literally see the colour go down the sink and it removes every last scrape of waterproof mascara, every piece of makeup so you just feel so cleansed after. Um, and I love that and I don't think I will ever ever change moisturiser. A normal moisturiser, makeup remover, um, ever again. So the next one is also Dermalogica, it's my daily microfolian, and this is one of the brand's best ever sellers. Um, and it's basically a white rice powder that you mix with water, it turns into a bubble consistency, apply that to the skin, leave it on for a couple of minutes, and it just has enzymes in it that dissolve and eat away at the dead skin cells, so you're left with, you know, bright skin, just really glowy and then works so nice in combination with this moisturiser because bright, radiant, glowy skin are just my sort of, oh and clear, so they're my three or four main words that I want sort of for my skin, so those are great and I do talk more about my skincare routine, um, I'll link it here and in the down bar if you want to know any more about it. So we're going to move on to hair care now, I've only got two products in the hair care um, section but I just love them so much. This one is Moroccan oil. This is just amazing. It is expensive. This size is £30 but it's worth it. I tried like the little um, miniature travel size one at first. That lasted me like half a year so no wonder how long this is going to last me and it's just amazing. Just one pump after you know when your hair's all sort of damp from the shower before you dry it it just nourishes the hair, you don't feel like you're doing as much damage, it makes it so silky and soft, sort of in texture to touch, and it adds a shine, um, it just does no wrong, <laughs> so this is great. And the second one kind of works in combination, but I only really use this if I go out for the night or if there's going to be pictures taken, and it's my James Brown London Shine Spray, um, because this just picks the shine up and when you have photos done or if you go up for a night and there's all lights it makes your hair shine so I just try and spray this on and it just adds to that sort of finishing touch um, to the hair so it's really really nice and I've gone through about three of them probably even more I don't even know next one is a bit of a um, is it miscellaneous that he say it? it doesn't really fit into any of the four categories it's just an odd one um, but it's so nice and it's the Real Techniques buffing brush 
and this gets so much talk about it on YouTube, probably not as much as it did when it first came out, but I think everyone's realised now how great they are and everyone owns it, so that's why I've probably not talked about sort of as much, but it is just great. I use this for my um, tinted moisturiser as my base and my concealer, perfect, it's just so, so nice. Got two nail varnish colours, and the one of them is a neutral and one of them is a red because red's classic and you're always going to wear it and then one's neutral just for you know, can go with anything and I've got it on my nails today and I'll show you what it's like and this is Essie's Fiji it is just such a nice colour it's sort of a milky pink it's like a, it's not white but it's not pink it's not cream it's, not beige. it's just sort of everything in one and I love it so much and the second nail varnish I've chose so is a red and it is from Rimmel and it's Coral Romance and this is really similar to OPI's Cajun Shrimp which I love because in the salon I work in we do OPI um, and I always try and convince people to have Cajun Shrimp because I'm like oh I love it so much and it's so nice to paint with as well but this is nice because it's a red but it's it's like not just a pillar box red it's kind of got um it's like a warm orange um coral mixture so it's like a warm color rather than sometimes just plain red can be a bit harsh but this is really nice and then the last section of all is makeup which probably the one most uses is waiting out for. first one is one that is just talked about all the time and i don't think ever there's ever going to be anything better than this and it's Urban Decay's Primer Potion finally they changed the packaging well, it's been like this for quite a while but it used to be in the little tube and you'd always get so much product sort of stuck in it and you'd have to chop it open if you wanted to get anything out of it but this is just great it's not even worth doing eye makeup without this because you just put it on creases, fades, it's messed up and it just doesn't last whereas this does all of those things and it's perfect so I would recommend that so much it definitely does what it says that it does the next one I've gone through probably four of these already and it is just the best ever eyeliner in it's by Bourjois so it's like um, you know Superdrugs Boots Brands one of the cheaper things and it's the liner for tour and I've got it on today just to do my black eyeliner I always always do a line I don't always do a flick today I've got a tiniest flick ever and this just is so precise and it's quite um, just a fine sort of tip. Um, I don't really like those chunky sort of jumbo ones. I find them difficult to control. But I prefer this. I prefer, I prefer felt tip eyeliners more than sort of any other consistency or type of eyeliner. I find that coals and pencils just don't come out enough and gels. I just find they take longer. I don't know why. Maybe I'm just not used to them. But felt tip is that you're just drawing on like a pen so it's so easy next one is my absolute essential if I could only go out with one piece of makeup on it would for sure be this and it is my highbrow palette um, and obviously as well I've got my eyebrows my eyebrows are so fair and so sparse without this but this just adds structure and the eyebrows are such an important part of the face they are really what you know they frame the eyes they frame the whole face and it just changes it so much so it's one of my favorite treatments to do at work sort of on clients because they're so amazed by how it just changes the whole face off it was so happy and um, I used to work on benefit eyebrow bar I think I talked about that in my working as beauty therapist video um, I'm not sure if I did, but I used to work on there just as a Christmas job. I didn't really like it so much because it was so sales driven and so sales focused that it felt a bit pushy, but I mean, that's a whole other story. But yeah, I just loved doing eyebrows and I have tried obviously the Benefit brow products, but I do think, oh, well, I definitely prefer this. Um, you just get your dark colour and your highlight. And so I put the highlight in the inner corner as well as under the brow. And this just is so water resistant. One time I was going to be taking it on holiday and I wanted to know if it would come off like by the pool or if I got really hot. So I thought one night I'm going to take makeup off anyway in like a minute's time. So I thought, let me just splash water on my face, see what happens. And I did. And it didn't really go anywhere. So it is so, such a great product. I know. I don't think it's a bit difficult to find, it's just sellers that stock it, or probably, I've never looked, but it's probably on the internet if you type in highbrows into Google. I'm sure you can find it somewhere, but I do recommend it just so much, it's just amazing product. And so the last three products now, so it's coming to bit of an end, but the next one is my Rouge Coco Shine by Chanel. got this on today, um, I do have it on top of Benefit's Cha Cha Tint. Um, but it's just the nicest lipstick, I think it's so nice to own like a really nice luxury lipstick they are different to sort of other ones just feels nicer and the colors nicer i just think it's such a pretty color um 
I try and wear it every day. I know I shouldn't because it's expensive, but I just love it that much. And um, I've got mine in the colour Flirt, by the way. And then the last two are quite boring, but they're essentials for the sort of all over face. And it's my concealer by MAC. Um, I get the Studio Select cover up and my um, Sheer Tint Moisture SPF 15 from Dermalogica. Both of these create my dream base and I use them both with my Dermalogica, no, my Real Techniques buffing brush. Um, I've gone through tons of these, probably five now. So many and I will, don't think I'm really going to look for another concealer, there's just no point. Perfect colour and this is just amazing, like it's all I've got on day. I've never ever owned foundation. Um, probably I will one day, but mum just said, you know, stick to as low coverage as you can, for as long as you can, and then that way, you, when you get to your high coverage, you'll never want to come down, really. So, these just create the most amazing base, and because it's a Dermalogica product, I know the MAC probably isn't the best for my skin, but the Dermalogica definitely is, so having that as your base, it's more of like a skincare product, um, so it only helps your face, really. There is just one more product I wanted to add in, it's just going to be a bonus product, I've not included it because thing is you can't buy it anymore because obviously the brand went down but um, the Gemma Kid um, Dewy Glow Radiance um, what's it called? <laughs> All Over Radiance Cream in Ice Gold is just a wonder product. I've got it on my cheeks sort of as a highlight. I only very fine today. I wear it more when I go out. Um, I use it sparingly because obviously so you can never buy it again but it's just the most wonderful product. Just that luminous glowy skin. I cannot wait to wear it in the in the summer of a tan. Um, I wish they'd bring it back, I hope they do, because it is just I did great. try it, sorry, for ages. And then when I found out the brand was going, Viviana does makeup put a post saying, if you can get hold of this anywhere, just get it. And I did, and I just ordered it, and thought, yes, thank God I have it, before it goes forever. But hopefully it'll come back, so maybe, we'll see. So these are all of my top 14 products for obviously hair, nails, makeup, brushes, everything. So I hope that you like them and um, if you want to know more about any of them, I'll ask me in the down bar and I'm going to be making more videos when I leave any requests you've got in the down bar as well and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!